to introduce Musician of the Year, Summer Dupin, and this is a person that I've actually just learned of our love for Justin Timberlake music through Instagram, Jessica Yar. Wow, thanks for outing me as a Justin Timberlake fan. <laughs> and we just keep getting shorter. <laughs> So, uh, have you guys seen the good times this week? <laughs> Amazing. Um, I'm really thrilled to be here to introduce my really good friend and a really talented artist who I've had the pleasure of seeing grow over this last year. And first time I saw him play was at Henfling's Tavern in Ben Lomond. And, uh, it also happened to be my first time going to Henflings, and as a long time, I like, grew up in the San Lorenzo Valley, so that was kind of a big deal. Like, how had I never gone to Henflings? And went in there not knowing what to expect, and I walked out of there with friends and just had the best time, and I just, it was wonderful. And Jesse, I have seen him play every show this last year, and uh, he just gets better and better every time, and the community that supports him and is behind him is incredible and you can just see how humble and hardworking and genuine he is and how that's really paid off and I think he deserves this very much. Yeah, it's been really great to watch him this past year. He's worked so hard, he's raised the money and um, worked so hard to record his first full length album with his incredible band and a number of other really talented musicians. Um, he's got a great story here in The Good Times. If you haven't read it yet, you should check it out. He's come a long way. He has an amazing family that is always just right there supporting everything he does. They're, it's beautiful to see. Um, he's got uh, all this great stuff happening in his life. He's got a CD release coming May 26th at Mo's Alley. It's going to be a great sold-out show. You know, I, I, I first met Jesse. He was a punk rock drummer in a high school band class with my son and then we reconnected through Tomboy and through Western Wednesday and the local music scene. I've seen him play for a handful of people acoustically. I've seen him sell out shows, rough rowdy crowds. It's always super diverse. Um, Jessica and I met at a Jesse Daniel show and we have a great friendship now. It builds community. It brings all kinds of people together and you will have the best time at any Jesse Daniel show. It's, um, it's powerful stuff. He deserves this. We're so honored to present this award to our dear friend, Jesse. Yeah. Jesse. Oh, man. As you're going to get me choked up. Um, I just want to say, give it up for uh, Jessica and Summer. Um, Two really great examples of strong women in this community uh, that are just doers, you know. I also want to give out a shout out to uh, Summer and her husband Dave. They're pillars in this community for artists and musicians. And they really are supportive and great friends, great people. For all that know them, I'm sure everybody knows Dave and Summer are great folks, so thank you. Um, first off, you know, if, uh, if I would have told 15-year-old Jesse that at 25 you'd be standing here receiving Musician of the Year Award for playing country music in a suit and a Stetson hat. I don't think he would have believed me. Um, I just finished my first full-length record um, with Henry Chadwick. He produced the thing. Uh, that album, it's a representation of my past and into my present day. And uh, I hope to see you all at the CD release show. It's May 26th at Mo's Alley. If you like the way we sound, and if uh, you're interested in hearing any more, see you at uh, Mo's Alley, May 26th. Uh, if you had the chance to read my article on the good times, I hope that my story can inspire anyone struggling to follow their dreams. And you're never too far gone, and uh, it's never too late to turn it around. Just wanted to make a point of that. That being said, I'd like to thank Matthew Swinerton and all of Event Santa Cruz for giving people like me and artists, musicians, and makers a platform to be recognized. Uh, my mom and dad, Lori and Mike, are here tonight. I want to thank them. I want to thank uh, all of my other family, friends, and fans who have come here tonight to support me. I love you all so much, and I couldn't do what I do without you. 
Um, most importantly, tonight I'd like to thank my soulmate, my source of endless inspiration, grounding, and love, my partner Jody Lyford. <laughs> Getting Musician of the Year, this is a tremendous honor, and um, I couldn't do anything without you guys. So thank you so much, and I hope to see you May 26th at Mo's Alley. Thank you, Santa Cruz. <laughs>